Okay, so let's move on to part three where we're going to talk about statements and comparison operators. So when we want to make a logical decision in our PHP code, we're going to use a statement. Um, the most common uh, statement and most obvious one is the if statement. Um, if something is true or if uh, something is greater than something, then do this and these are called code blocks. Um, let's see how that works. So let's say if um, x equals 1 then let's use our echo statement. We are now inside the if statement. Okay, so if x, our variable x, which we have not set yet, um, it will equals to 1, uh, it'll say this on the screen. We are now inside of the if statement. So let's save that, come over here, and refresh, and oh, what do we have? What we have is an undefined variable notice. What this means is that it's not a deathly error that's going to uh, cause PHP to crash and die, um, but it is a notice that there is a problem in the script. To fix that, um, uh, actually before I move on to fixing it, take a look here. It'll also tell us uh, not only what the error is, but it'll also tell us where in our script that we can find that error, and that's really helpful to know. So, all right, let's go fix it. Um, let's set x equal to 1 and save it and bounce over here to our browser and refresh it and now we can see that we have reached the inside of the if statement we just put on the screen. So now you might notice that I used a double equals here um, and there's a very good reason for it. It is, it is not a typo. Um, if we did not use it, there would be no difference between this and this. In other words, if we said x equals 1, then <clears throat> we might as well not write our if statement at all because every time it comes through and executes this, um, it will set x equal to 1. Um, and so we want a comparison operator there, uh, which we do by the double equal sign. Okay, so that's that's a basic logical statement. Um, <clears throat> we can also add some, some extra parts to this statement. Um, let's say else, open our brackets up, echo, <clears throat> we are, uh, let's capitalize, we are now in our else statement. And let's save that. <clears throat> now, what this will do is, uh, let the x is equal to 2, goes through and it compares and it says, no, x equals 2, it does not equal 1. So it skips this part. Um, and basically, if x is equal to anything else, then it's going to come through here and echo into our else statement. So let's have a look what that does. And it does, in fact, go to the else statement. Okay, and then there is yet another another thing we can add in here. I'm just going to copy this whole section and paste it and paste it again. <clears throat> now we don't actually want two else statements. Um, that would cause an error. So we're going to make that into an else if statement. And now let's say if x is equal oops, to 2, we're going to say we are now in our else if statement. Now let's go ahead and make that bold um, so we can see a difference. And since we do have our variable x already equal to 2, let's save it, come over here, and ta-da, we now are in the else if snip. So 
we can output different things depending on what x equals. <clears throat> right now, that doesn't do very much because we're specifically telling x what it's equal to in the beginning of the script. Um, but if, say, x was information coming from a database or from user input or anything else, then um, we could show completely different things depending on what x is equal to. Now, there are more comparison operators than just the double equal sign. <clears throat> Um, you can say if x is greater than 1, you can say if x is less than 2 is another one. Um, you can say if x is greater than or equal to 1, uh, basically just, just kind of like algebra. Um, uh, you can say if it's um, less than or equal to uh, also works. Um, so if it's a number, you you can do uh, you can also do um, this not equal to. Um, actually, that would go right here. And what this is is uh, reverse. Um, <clears throat> we can say if x. What this actually means here is if x is not equal to two. So if it's anything else, it'll be. Uh, that and you can use that with your greater than or less than. If you can say if x is if not x is greater than two, then do this section in here, and it should all work. And we're still inside the if statement, and that's fine. Okay, um, <clears throat> that brings us to the end of this section. Um, you can now use if statements and you now have variables at your disposal and that alone actually allows for quite a few different things. Um, in the next section we will cover functions and that will greatly improve um, your abilities in PHP. Um, functions are um, kind of the meat and potatoes of uh, what you're going to be using. Um, and we'll get into that in the next section. So thanks for watching.